Hey everybody and welcome to the next flame quick tip. Now this one is going to be on a topic that um, uh, comes up uh, a bunch and is um, worth knowing, um, especially with 2018. Um, and that feature that we're going to look at today is the, um, the media location path translation. Now this has been shown in terms of the way you can update color or um, you know new clips that are maybe pointing to a different path on a local file. but. Um, in this way, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it um, in regards to those shots you have to work on um, over the weekend um, from your home rig that, you know, can be a little bit annoying. Usually, especially if you want to archive stuff, you know, you're doubling up data, you know, it just it can get kind of wieldly and very annoying, um, to be honest. Um, so in this example, um, to be clear, this relies on, um, well, it doesn't rely on it, but it works a lot better when you... Uh, when you don't cache so i'd suggest um you store locally maybe on your frame store um in a folder and just call it you know source footage for this shot um and that'll make sense in a second so for this example um for all these four shots um if i just hover over you see they're they're based on my mnt four terabyte work and then there's a folder called sunset if i open this there's a mnt four terabyte work source footage falling debris um so you can see they're all they're all based in um, in a folder on my hard drive. So again, if I open this one, there it is. There, and this other one here is four terabyte work sunset. So literally, on my um, on my hard drive, you see my four terabyte source footage. Um, the footage I know I'm going to be working on for this particular shot. Say you are at work. I put this in a folder on your frame store and soft link to it in your setup. Work normal like you would. Do all your stuff, but just soft, soft bring these guys in. And if it's on your frame store, it'll be fine, right? It doesn't matter. Um, and then um, here's another storage path on my system. Um, totally different hard drive. Um, this is let's call this for all cases um, the this, the home assets. So this is um, linked to your home system. Um, again, you want this to be on a quick thing, just like you would um, on your home one. So again, you could have just, again, we're not going to get into archiving. Again, archiving one blows up space and two is unnecessary when you're just working on one shot from home or something like that. It's just not practical to have to kind of relink and, and just archive. And it just, it just gets really big and not, not fun in my opinion. Um, again, to each their own with this too. Everyone has their own way and system. Um, but for this, um, again, this folder here. So again, sorry to sidetrack, but this is my, my work frame store. Um, so this would be, again, based off the same folder it would live in. So this would be source footage. And this is the exact same copy of the clips on my home drive, let's say. So this is my assets from home. So I'm working here. Um, and if I open this just as a sequence and just go, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to say work sunset. I would want it to be this one. And now that should be MNT work. Nope, I'm gonna throw that one away just because, uh, yeah, I don't know why that was showing up there. But if I open that now, it's still showing that one, it shouldn't. So I'm gonna throw that away, that's all right. It's gonna complain because that's there. But what I'm gonna do just really quick is I'm just gonna go to my source footage, grab in the sunset with cache off, import, and just put that in. So for this example, again, it's a good example because it has more than one clip. So if I just have a look at my example, we've got um, one, two, three, four clips. So again, uh, enough to be a pain in the ass if you had to relink manually or um, archive in terms of size, you know, even with turning off bits with the archive personally. Um, so yeah, this is your comp. Um, the main thing is you save, increment, um, and iterate uh, that triggers it to actually show up with setups when you use the right file from my experience so yeah I'm just um, literally just going into the right file I'll, I'll do a clean one so you can see so say during the day you know go nuts work using the render node as you normally would right um, don't let it change your workflow but then yeah when it comes to uh, you know home time uh, that's where I'd, I'd use the right file with this. Now, bear with me, bear with me, this will make sense because again, it's just again to bypass the need for archive. So if I just do call this, um, let's call it the batch name. And then if I double click and I'm going to yeah, include setup, um, I'll use custom versioning, um, 150 is fine and let's render. So I'm gonna let that render through. 
and let it do its thing. Um, this also works great, um, not just for um, if you have to work from home, but also working remote for someone else if you guys have the same folder structure in terms of passing around files, by the way. So, um, so that's, you know, that's our clip. It's been rendered. Um, the thing to note is because it is, um, oops, that was my bad. And I just rendered that to my var.temp. So now I have a whole bunch of stuff there. Anyway, let's change that. I'm just going to do a new directory and call it the that. And let's quickly render that out. That was my bad. And let it go through. Okay, so now over here is what we want when we um, make our way home. So for that first time you would go home, you would copy to a USB or whatever, your source footage that matches that one, and your um, your write file path. So the write file path has you know, our DPX we rendered out, the dot clip stuff, and then the main thing is it has the setups, which is what you want. So if we now uh, throw this away, throw this away and then go to timeline I'm just going to do a new batch group and whatever now um, let's simulate we're at home so I'm going to actually just tab into a terminal and do a new tab and I'm going to do rm -r, and I'm just going to move these clips you see they're gone now so and let's restore that clip so I'm gonna to go to uh, MIDI hub actually I'm gonna to go to timeline and then back click import and again it won't show up here which is what you would expect but if we go home and then to our assets to our clip we rendered out and you'll see our open clip which is what we want you see there it is if we import that again cache is turned off I'm gonna open that as a sequence and I'm going to, in the create new version, I'm going to go open as batch group. And first thing you see is, yep, everything's there. It's nice and easy. Again, um, not too bad in terms of just, just quickly grabbing and being able to move on. And now this is the only thing you have to do the first time, and then it's, it's easy after that. So um, again, in preferences, storage, I'm going to create a rule. And for source path, source path I'm going to go browse source. And I'm going to go to my source footage which is, has been deleted now. And then for my destination path, I'm going to go to my assets and point it to the source footage for my home drive. And once I set that, and just, I'm just gonna do refresh just for the hell of it. And then we look over here, you can see that everything has been updated through. And again, um, the beauty of this is you can create this rule for work too from your home one. So you do the opposite in the, um, in the actual path so you'd have the opposite source with your destination but the beauty of this is once once this is set up um, if you do go back to work and then you know load in your um, revised dot clip and then restore it um, to home it's automatically um, gonna work because it um, persists um, from home so you could have a path that's just for working from home and that you know it will always be your, your working one um, and again the same goes for remote if it was my path and then someone else's path remote it can be used so um, I hope that makes sense and I hope that is um, useful. Uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Stay tuned for more.